Hey everybody, it's GliderCat and it's time to play. We're in campaign two of The Colonists and we are near the very, very end. I think we're going to get this thing done. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I paused it because I didn't want to lose a second here because I do think we're close to the end. Let's see. We've got, here's our small monument. It's being built. We need 10 planks, 20 stone, and 20 iron, and we will be good to go. Uh, let's see. It looks like we've got plenty of stone in storage, so I think we're going to be in good shape there, but we'll double check our production and make sure we're, we're on top of it. We've got our iron being produced. Uh, where is that? Over at the blast furnace way over here. And it looks like that is well supplied with iron ore, charcoal, and coal. So I think we're in good shape. I think it's a matter of waiting on the blast furnace. Let's just see how this works to iron ore. Let's check our mines and make sure that that's not going to hold up things. We've got plenty of iron sitting here waiting to be utilized by the blast furnace. Our, char our coal is being mined here. He's got lots of batteries, so he's got all the power he needs. And he's got a good supply of coal sitting here. We've got a charcoal burner. Where is that guy? He's over here. Now, I'm not sure if this helps, like if the charcoal is better than coal uh, in terms of fueling the blast furnace. It looks like the blast furnace can use either charcoal or coal. So I'm not sure if we needed that charcoal burner or how that comes into play. If you happen to know, go ahead and let me and other viewers know in the comments. But either way, I think we're in pretty good shape. We've got our little cobblestone road builder here improving our roads let's take a look and see how he's doing i think he's covered just everything that we've selected and he's probably just randomly improving roads now why don't we uh why don't we improve all this road go heading out this way just to make sure that we're we're going to be in good shape and as speedy as possible and then here's our monument right on the coast. Let's take a look. Does it tell us the... Let's see. Okay, here we go. So we're at 30%. Yeah, not too bad. I think we're in really good shape. Turns out we didn't really need to do much over here. I don't think we need this iron. So the underground deposits, it looks like they yield unlimited iron ore. We've already got one set up. And it looks like it's producing enough iron uh, for us to keep our, our uh, blast furnace busy. So I don't think we need to really increase the iron mining. So we'll let that be. We do have some stone here. This guy is still waiting on battery level ones to mine more stone. So let's just take a look. Here comes one on its way. It's probably heading over that direction. Yep. But again, we've got enough stone in our supply yard here, so we should be in decent shape. This is the surface mine we had deconstructed. It's 100% dismantled. There are no more resources to recover, so we can destroy this guy now. And just free up that space. Doesn't matter right now in this campaign so much, but in larger campaigns, or if you're doing the free play... <coughs> It's good to know that you can get your resources back from buildings that you no longer need. And you can just destroy them to free up the space when you're done. And then it looks like these underground deposits are a key resource because they provide unlimited ore. Whereas this surface mine here of coal, this will eventually deplete. But we'll have plenty for this campaign. And in fact, he's got just, he is fully, fully, fully stocked. Our orchard has surplus apples. Cider mill has surplus cider. So we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I don't think anybody's waiting on battery power. Level two. Let's see. Is this guy waiting on anything? I think he's got everything he needs. He just doesn't have anywhere to output the batteries. I guess. Although I don't see any stacked up outside here. Let's see what it says. Okay. Sleeping because the outgoing resource queue is full. 
these guys have produced all the level two batteries they need. I could put a little storage yard here and just, uh, let's do it just for fun while we're killing time. Put a small storage yard. Let's see, somewhere close by. It doesn't look like there's many places close by that I can get four blocks free. But I was thinking just to store some of those uh, level two power supplies. Boom. We'll wait for that to get built. Here we are, we're at 61%. Almost there, almost done with campaign two. Let me know what you think about this game. It came out a while ago, it's not a new game, but it's been on my wish list for a long time. And uh, I wanted to get it on the channel. So I reached out to the developers. They were gracious enough to provide me with a, what they call a press key so I could provide this content for you. So my thanks goes out to the developers. I think this is a pretty, pretty cool game. It's a lot of fun. And we're just, we're just at the early stages here, uh, doing the basics. Uh, I'm anxious to get into the military campaigns. So hopefully we'll get those on the channel here soon. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. Okay. It looks like our Small storage yard is done. Let's go ahead and put energy level twos in here. We've got 16 storage spaces, so we'll just go full on. Boom. And then we should see these guys spring into action. Our two level two residences that are producing the, uh, the level two power. Let's just see if they churn out some new batteries. They're both working. So yeah, and the premise of this game is that these robots kind of escaped Earth where they were kind of in servitude to humans. They commandeered a rocket and they go off on their own. They, they want to be human, like humans. That's how they were programmed. And so they escaped to a distant asteroid, I believe, to set up their own colony and, uh, and live life the way they want to without being under control of the humans. So that is the premise as I understand it. All right, these guys are kicking out their battery, their level two batteries. That, there's one right there. Let's see if it makes its way into storage. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Here we've got a couple already being stored. That's all cool. Let's check on the progress. 84%. We are almost there. We're almost there. And then if we look at the top of the screen here, I haven't really noticed this. The colony productivity is at 84%. It's the average productivity of all the buildings in your colony. That doesn't sound too bad, but I guess you could shoot for 100. Blocked roads. So we're, this is handy to know, right? So when we had that congestion, it would have been nice to look up here and see, uh, do I have roads that are blocked up or congested? And then maybe that's an indicator that, hey, you need to go in and either improve the roads like we're doing here, with this cobblestone or reroute or replace some buildings so that you can get more more roads or more pathways to maybe resources and then the last one here is resource delivery the percentage of resources delivered in the last week that were on time and on time i'm guessing that means there was no delay incurred during the whole route to get from point a to point b i'm not sure what else on time would actually mean all right, let's take a look. We are getting close. 97. We are super close. Here he is pounding away. Our build bot Waldo. 98. He's going to bring it home. Ninety-nine. Here we go. We're about to hit victory. All right. Mission complete. Campaign two. The colonists. Not too bad. Look at the uh, monument here. It looks like a carry bot to me or some kind of bot. Is that a carry bot? I can't. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, it is. That's a carry bot. Cool. And then right now, as I'm recording this, it is we're in the holiday season here of 2020. And so it looks like they put in some gifts at the, around the monument just to uh, recognize the holiday time. So that's why that's there. If you don't see it when you play. Uh, then you probably need to go play around Christmas and New Year's time, and then you'll see the gifts pop up, I imagine. So pretty cool. Let's see what it says here. Mission completed. 
Amazing. You achieved a gold medal. I don't think we did that great, but we got through it. We did pretty good. It wasn't totally optimized, but uh, not bad. Gold medal time, seven months and 13 days. Our leaderboard rank is number 6288. So I wonder if we get a little, some strange colored ribbon to represent that we are in 6,288th place on the leaderboard. That's our summary. Let's just see what else they give us. Statistics. Our average productivity was 71. That's that, that doesn't sound pretty good. That's probably from when we had our resource constraints, right? We were first limited, I think, on the on the uh, logs, and then we had a resource constraint on the food and the bat level one batteries. We had some congestion issues. So I'm guessing that those three things were the primary causes of us not having like really high productivity. Maximum production rate is 51.9 per day. So I'm not sure what that is. If that's just like every, every item that was produced, we got up to 50, almost 52 items being produced a day. Maximum blocked roads was nine. So yeah, we saw that case where the robots had those little exclamation points. I think they were red uh, above their heads when they were blocked. So that's something to look at in the next, both of these things, right? This productivity and the maximum blocked roads is something to keep an eye on when we play the next campaign. Keep an eye on our roads and make sure we have enough wood early on. Okay, the leaderboard. Okay, this must show the whole thing. We don't need to scroll through all that. And continue playing or go to the scenario screen. So I guess that's it. Uh, we'll wrap this one up here again. That was campaign two of the colonists. Uh, enjoyed having you along for the ride. Hopefully you enjoyed this little journey. I'm going to move on to campaign three. Pretty, pretty sure I'm going to do that one. And then we'll probably do one of the, at least one of the battle campaigns where there's some military. Let me know what you think. If you like this series, please let me know. Uh, do consider subscribing. It's a small channel. I'm trying to grow it and I'm learning the ropes here about YouTube. So go ahead and put some constructive feedback in the comments if you'd like. Or you can send that to me at my email address. You'll find that in the uh, About tab in YouTube. But yeah, for now, I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. This is GliderCat signing off for now, saying I will see you in the next one.